Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of 3D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we started our long journey in creating the zombie enemy. Alright, it's not going to be that long to be honest. We're probably going to do it in a couple of more episodes. Our zombie will be done and you guys will be a long way into creating this game. Alright, we're doing pretty darn good here. I think we're on episode 28 or something like that. Uh, and we're doing pretty darn good. Uh, in today's episode, guys, there are a few things that I want to build, a few assets I'd like to build in order to be able to create the health system and the special effects we need in order to finish off our zombie damage and that kind of thing. We'll be building a special effect where our zombie can be lit on fire, and we'll be building a... we'll be also building our floating health bar. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's get the easy stuff out of the way. Let's go in and find our zombie. And here he is. All right, let's go in here and take a look at our prefabs. We already have an existing uh, prefab that we called fire. And I'm basically just going to use this prefab over again. Uh, you can go through and build yourself a different graphic for your zombie on fire. Uh, but I'm simply going to use this, this prefab. I've already got it pre-built. I'm just going to use it. All right. And later on when we've got, uh, we've, we've got a fireball, that we did in an earlier episode, and let's say you have a flamethrower or something like that, then later on, whenever you shoot your zombie, you can always light it on fire and cause damage over a certain amount of time. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just simply grab my fire, I'm gonna simply grab it, I'm gonna drag it, I'm gonna drop it on my actual zombie. Uh, and there it is, way in the background. I don't want it way in the background, I want it to be at zero, and I want it to be at zero, and I want it to be at zero. Now, you can decide exactly where you want this to be. If this is not an appropriate position, if that's too low, which honestly I think it is, I think I'm just gonna drag it up somewhere right about here, uh, somewhere in the middle of the zombie. And that way, the entire zombie is on fire. And I don't wanna keep seeing this, all right? Uh, I don't need to see it right now, so for now, I'm gonna turn my fire off. All right, it's there, and I know it's there. It's, I can use it whenever I want to, but I don't necessarily need it right now. Okay, so there's a couple of other things that I want to build right now. And, well, there's only one other thing, actually, in this episode. I'd like to build uh, the, the floating health bar that's going to be over top of our, of our actual character here, of our, of our zombie. We already went through and built ourselves a GUI, uh, and it wasn't difficult at all. And we're gonna follow a lot of those same steps today. We're just changing one thing. That's all we're really changing is one simple thing. All right, so let's start off with, I'm gonna say create, and I'm gonna go into UI, and I'm gonna go in and create a canvas, all right? And let's just give this a new name right away. Let's call this, uh, let's call this enemy uh, floating HUD. All right, let's just call it that. Uh, and basically what I want to happen is I want this HUD to be floating over top of my over top of my character at, at any given time. Now right now, right now it is currently it is overlapping the giant HUD we have in place. All right, it's right here. And I don't want that. What I want to do is instead of being canvas as screen space overlay, I'm going to set it up to be in world space, all right? And that changes a couple of things. Uh, watch, I'll do it again, actually. Uh, if it's on screen space overlay, I don't have uh, access to all of this stuff up here, but by simply saying world space, I can go in and I can make a number of different changes here that are going to allow me to change where this thing is located, all right? I can change the X position and the Y position and make this located where I want it to be. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I don't want it to be so big. I'm just going to change it to have width and height of, let's say, two. All right, it's teeny, teeny, tiny, all right? <laughs> it's super teeny, tiny, and I'm gonna drag it down. Let's put this at zero, zero, zero for now. Uh, zero and zero for now, and let's focus in on that if I can. Oh, I lost it. Uh, enemy HUD, focus. All right, you can't, there we go. There it is, all right, that's my enemy HUD. And I'm just gonna move it in position around my actual zombie for now. Somewhere like this. And and basically all I want to happen ultimately is I'm gonna wanna put a, a health bar over top of this of this character. That's all I wanna do. So uh, the first thing that that means is I need a health bar. And I'm gonna right away simply say, right click on it, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna say create, and I'm gonna say UI, and I'm gonna find my actual uh, scroll bar. Slider, excuse me, my slider. All right, and I'm gonna add a slider, and it's gonna be giant. Uh, it's obviously gonna be the completely the wrong size. So I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments right away. First thing I'm gonna adjust is the width and the height. So I'm gonna make this as 100, and I'm gonna make it 20. 
no, 10, let's make it 10. All right, 100, and, uh, 100 by 10. And uh, my Y position, first of all, I'm gonna put it at zero and zero. Uh, that's gonna be in the wrong spot ultimately, but I'll change it in a little bit. And I'm gonna scale this thing down because it's far too big. Like if I scroll back, you can see like that, oh, that thing must have a lot of hit points. Uh, I don't want that to be the case, so I'm gonna scale this thing down, first of all, and we're gonna have to find an appropriate size. Let's try, uh, let's try 0 0.15. Uh, no, 0.015, because that's still way too big. 0 0.015, 0 0.015, and 0 0.015, and I don't think we have to change this. We're not going to. All right, so let's say we like it like that. That's still a little bit of an awkward shape. Let's. What if I make this 20 instead? 20. Uh, that's a little bit better. Uh, I kind of like that better. All right, so that is my actual slider, uh, and I'm not going to bother changing where it's positioned at all. Centering it is perfectly fine. I'm just going to move this thing up in above my zombie's head. So let's say somewhere about there. And that is always going to be floating over my zombie's head just like that. All right. It'll be positioned in the same way the zombie is. We're not actually rotating this in any way, so it's going to always stay positioned like this. So we're going to make a couple of different, a couple of changes as well to it. Um, we're going to change the health slider first of all. Uh, with the slider, let's just change his name first of all. Uh, let's call this um, enemy health slider. All right, we're ultimately going to make a we're ultimately going to make a uh, prototype out of this, uh, and so we want to make sure that we we've got that set up properly. I'm going to set this up the same way that I set up the character uh, with a little heart and that kind of stuff in the background. Uh, I can't remember how I did it now. Let me just hit play quickly so I can see how my health bar looked. I think I left this stuff in the back. <gasps> I did. I just want to check that out. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this color tint first of all. I'm going to set it to none. All right, and that basically just changes this little knob right here, uh, so it won't have any transparency. If you leave it uh, the way it was, then the then the actual transparency won't work all that well. All right, uh, so transition should be set to none. Now I, I do want to make a couple of different changes. First of all, uh, let's go down here and let's open up our enemy health slider. Uh, the background. Um, the background itself right now is this, is this odd gray color, and uh, I'm gonna change it instead, uh, I'm gonna change it to a simple red, in the same way we did with the, with the player, all right? That's how we did the player, I'm gonna make it into a red, all right? So red is obviously that the zombie is taking damage. The fill area, the actual fill area, let me open this up, the actual fill area, the fill itself is going to be green in exactly the same way that our players were. Let me choose a green, that's not a nice green. Let's choose this green. All right, that is gonna be our actual uh, color green. So we'll see exactly the same way we did with the player that as the green goes down, then the, we know that we're actually damaging this, this character. And lastly, we're gonna make a quick change to the handle itself. We're not gonna use the knob, we're gonna use the little heart the same way we did with our character. All right, so now if I actually go into my enemy health slider and I adjust the minimum and maximum value or the value itself, you'll see that my character will be able to go through from green to red and we'll know that we're actually damaging uh, this enemy. Perfect. Okay, so now that's working. The last thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure I go to my enemy slider. Is it here I wanna do it? No, I wanna, yeah, enemy slider. And I wanna make sure interactable is turned off. All right, if you leave interactable on, then obviously then the player, instead of shooting this guy, can simply drag his, uh, <laughs> his health bar, which might be a really cool uh, game. You know, you don't have to actually shoot anything, you just gotta drag their health bars down and kill them. Who knows, who knows? Anyway, that's for the future. That said, all I wanna do is I wanna take, uh, first thing I wanna do is I wanna take this enemy floating HUD and I wanna drag it, I'm gonna click off it, I wanna drag it all the way up to my actual zombie, find my zombie, and I'm gonna drop it on my zombie like that. It's gonna end up somewhere in here, and the last thing I wanna do is turn off the interactive, uh, sorry, the, the uh, turn it off in the inspector so I can't see it anymore. Basically, what we do later on is we're gonna set it up so when we shoot this zombie, the health bar is gonna come on, and that way we won't have a bunch of floating health bars all over the place. All right, so that said, the last thing I wanna do is I wanna take my enemy floating hut pardon me, my enemy floating HUD, and I wanna drag it, and I wanna drop it in here. All right, and in doing so, I end up with a prefab, and that's great. That means that I can use this, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take my, uh, my, I'm gonna leave it exactly like this, uh, and 
basically what that means is anytime I want to create any new enemies or anytime I want to make destructible terrain or make something I can shoot, anything like that, I will be able to take this and drag it and drop it onto the character and I will have an instant health bar. All right, guys, that's all I want to do in this episode. A couple of nice, short, sweet episodes. All right, uh, we are going to go through in the next few episodes, though, and there's a lot of code coming. Okay, make sure you guys are caught up. After this, the next episode, we're going to be working on the characters or the zombies' health. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. All right, comments down below. I love hearing from you. I'd love to see the games you're making. Ask me any questions you've got. I'll do my best to help you out. All right, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.